Okay, so as promised before, I supposedly promised that we're gonna do backlit to HDR map uh, matching in the KeyShot using KeyShot the uh, HD HDRI editor. So as we can see right here on these lines, we have some kind of environment. So we have back from coming from the back, we have a spotlight. On the front, we also have a top top coming in uh, some kind of light source and also on the wheels it's some foul coming from this edge from this corner over here and shining onto this part and also on the rear there must be some kind of light source coming onto the rear as well or horizontally and from here also horizontally some, somehow we're going to match that and this has to be some kind of darker color so that won't shine upon. And also on the front grill, we're going to have some kind of light source also shining upon this one. this one as well. So I hope this will work. I hope everyone will be happy. So we're going to go ahead and try to do this. So I already slapped on the car. And we're just going to try to modify this. I also have the baseline of this configured. So I know that this part over here and the back light source is okay with this HDR. Depends actually on the HDR. You can use probably any kind of HDR as soon as it has like uh, this strong horizontal view. We're also going to adjust it a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit saturation down. We're also going to make it tilt the other way around. So we're going to have a clear line this will probably do okay so we're gonna go on with pins so we're gonna use app pin set highlight okay so we're gonna turn down the radius a bit Okay, so we know right now that it's shining upon this part over here. But we don't want to see it on the reflections. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it a little bit down. Okay, so it's there. Just going to probably use the mouse. Now brighter and up. Sometimes it's a pretty precision based job. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate this one. Pin 2, and we go to the back. Okay, so that light source seems okay. And so wheels really aren't the same. I cannot entirely make it look that that color. So it works, so that's right. Okay, so pin two. It also depends on the material because this this material doesn't like to be refracted on top of. And I probably think that the pho photographer who did this had a couple of composition keys, so there there are minor adjustments here and there. <laughs> To actually get it right working. Okay. Let 
can approximate by looking at the car as well. But I won't be going over composition today on how to get it even better. I'm just going to give you a rough idea what you can do. Okay, that's too odd. Okay. I'm just going to make it quick today. Yep, that seems about right. Also, we're going to add edit to the material a little bit. Seems about right. Okay, we got <coughs> some kind of light sources coming in. So I'm pretty cool. A little bit. Gonna bump it up this a little bit more. Bang! Now, is this right? Okay, fraction in this. Okay, now this seems about right. Also, we're not going to worry about any of the stuff in the background because this is not a professional way to do it. But I'll ju I'm just showing how you could probably fit your HDRIs with your back plates. Okay, so we're going to go another way, and we're going to take pin 2, duplicate, and we're going to set highlight from here. Okay, for some reason this highlight situation doesn't want to work out for us. Rectangular. Now we're going to take down the brightness. And we're also now going to go forward and actually add darker plane to cancel out all these dark parts. Okay, so we're going to go and add another pin. Yep. 
radius then we'll go black and this one we're gonna go to alpha see make a makes a whole lot of difference because this part is actually darker than the other one and when we look at this this is actually pretty close but this is yet yet again as mentioned before this is not the way you could actually probably do it like like really professionally but you can get that idea on how to how you can actually match these kind of things we're gonna go and take the tone dark tone a little bit darker Oh yeah, now this it started to So this this looks probably cool. <laughs> At least in my opinion right here. Okay, this this blue actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a bit turquoise. And we're gonna mess around with this a little bit. A little bit of contrast. Also with the gamma. Also with the brightness. So now it looks pretty cool. Yeah, at least in my opinion. But yeah, this hopefully hopefully will get you guys started more on like how to match things to HDRI and such. I'm gonna pause it right here a little bit. And I'm gonna do a quick render and I'm going to show you what the outcome is so this guy will be the final product I'm not going to edit it right now because I'm going to do it sometime later I'm just not going to focus on editing because it's real late at night <laughs> but anyways you can get the whole idea of uh, how you can how you can actually match your HDRI pins and everything in Keyshot so you could probably figure out a way to actually highlight a couple of these wheels how to get highlights from the back, how to slap darker spots on the front. Basically, I think this tutorial will help you out, and perhaps uh, in the future you can show me what you have made thanks to my tutorial. So, have fun, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, if you're gonna check like in like tomorrow or some other day, I'll make sure I'll link to final final rendering. Uh, in the link in the description down below so give it a like share it with your friends of course it will help it helps me out a ton and also make sure you're subscribed because there's gonna be lots of tons of tutorials coming up as well I don't know for sure but I, I'll try to at least okay so see you guys next time and have fun <laughs>